is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. We're going to purchase an ounce of speed over here in the parking lot. Elgin is going to be the undercover. He's going to be in his car, standing by the phones. When the crook arrives, Todd's going to walk up to him. He's got 850 cash. They're going to do the exchange, and at the same time, he's going to call out the bus to us. Okay, he's going to be wired and armed. We will be coordinating amongst ourselves in the immediate area around Todd. And at the same time, I'm going to be asking for you to come in. So um, once I say start working your way up or inching your way up, that means we're close to calling the bust. Once I give out the bus signal, don't wait for me to call you specifically. Once we say it's a bust, just come on in. Hey, it takes a while for it to come through. Hey, has had no contact with the crook whatsoever. All right. With another guy, sounds like he's eating an excellent name, which might be like uh, Chicano. Uh-huh. Uh, said they're going to be here in 10 minutes. He's driving a blue Hyundai. Got it. It's a blue Hyundai. It's coming up to the payphones now. Todd. Yeah. Hey, your crook's just landed. Okay, another blue Hyundai right there, uh, passing you off to the left. Yeah, they're making contact now. That's going to be the correct vehicle. They're coming uh, towards you, Watt. Start inching in, Guido. Okay, they want him to follow. Wilbur, start inching around to the back of him. Okay, Guido, they're getting ready to go out to Euclid. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take it. Let's just take them. Okay, they're going to be uh, checking stuff there. Please, freeze! Freeze, I'll shoot! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! He's going, he's through the cul-de-sac. Northbound. Yeah, you see the fence? I followed him. He jumped over the fence, and he started running this way towards the west. But he didn't go east, I, okay. so I think he ducked into one of these yards. Okay. Lying to me is better, because when you lie, the courts and the juries, they like that lot more. I'll write down any lie you want to give me. He never showed me anything. He, he says he didn't have anything. I couldn't tell you his full name. His name is Marcos. His nickname, nickname Marquillo, something like that. I know him from my neighborhood. I, he he used to sell he used to sell corn back when I knew. Him. I haven't seen him like I said in three years. So you just came here to I sell corn, or you sell drugs? Me, man. Ronnie got a guy. Well, I just stopped him right here. No, he, stopped, he was ahead of me. He got out before me after. No, I wouldn't do. It. You want to play? We don't play in Garden Grove, my friend. Where are you from? from Santa Ana. Okay, you may play in Santa Ana. We aren't going to play here because here's what you're looking at now. Yes, sir. The drug thing, shine that. Attempted robbery. So play hardball. We don't really care. I'm in Rudolph, but. They got him? Well. <laughs> they got him? Yeah. All right. That's the one. That's him. Uh, okay. <laughs> Dog bit him. Um, we're going to start a search for the dope. We want to let 503 know. Hey, Randy. Randy. Or, uh, Thrasher. Pat. Can you stop him for one minute? I just want to ask him. So we want to ask him real quick where he hit the dope. Let's get him out of here. You can have him search this area. Yeah. Yeah. Doing a narc hey, we'll let the dog do a narc. I don't know how well he'll do. You know that. Oh. That'd be beautiful. What is it? Ounce? Ounce, yeah. 850. Be right behind the headlamp. Did he put it behind the headlamp? No, that's where they usually hide it. It's behind the headlamp.
chick right there underneath that uh, siren. Not there, but there's a brown paper bag right there. Is that anything? Yep. Are you serious? Yes, sir, it is, sir. Yeah! <laughs> we got it. All right. There's our... Uh, <laughs> There's our ounce of meth. All oh, this work. Oh, that's beautiful. What a beautiful ending, man. No loss tonight. This is too good. Yes. Good job. In the engine. Very good. Lake Elsinore is uh, kind of unique. We have approximately 45 to 47,000 people in the unincorporated area. And we're pretty spread out. Backup's usually five, ten minutes away. So if you have maybe two people at gunpoint, you can expect your backup to take a little while before they get there, and hopefully nothing will happen between then and the time your backup gets there. 7 right, Basically right now we just got a call of a attempt, car burglary, and we have two neighbors with a suspect detained. So we're going to see exactly what we have, if anything, if in fact we do have an attempt car burglary. 7797. 7797, Hi, what's going on? Scott is breaking into my neighbor's car. I mean, he saw him. He's still up there. He's drunk. I came out here. I was over there. And I heard the dogs barking, and that place is empty now. So I came in the back with my flashlight to see what was going on. I came around here, and I got, I was just inside the fence there, and I looked up. And as soon as he saw me, he dropped it and just took off up there. Okay, how long has he been gone right now? A couple of minutes. A couple of minutes? Well, this is what happened after, the, after he saw him. He came and knocked at my door, and then he saw him over there. So I'm like, I'll go get him, and then we went over there. The guy, he, I mean, he's drunk as hell, and so I stood there for a minute. I was gonna keep him there till you guys got there and knock him out because he was drunk. And so, and so, you know, he was stumbling around. They, then he, you know, he, he, he didn't break in the car, but the, the whole time this guy said, "Well, I didn't break into their car. I didn't do none of that car. These guys are saying I did something to the car, but we never mentioned nothing about the car." Okay. He mentioned. That. He's a white male with long hair, no oh, shirt, yeah, and black no, pants. The hair's not so long. It's not that not long? That long. He's got brown hair? He's on his back. No, it's blonde. And on his arms. Okay. The 77. Can you see if K9 can clear and come to my location, please? I used to live over here, and in the last year and a half, my tires have been stolen off my cars three times. Tires have been stabbed three times. Nobody's ever caught, nobody ever done nothing. And then he knocked on my door and saw that. If I would have came out there and got that guy, oh boy, I'd have been. Okay. Did, did he run up in the hills over here? No, he's, right he's, right in the park, he's in the apartment. Okay, what were you doing out there by the cars? I've been throwing up. Oh, so I've been, I, I'll be totally honest, I haven't seen my my best friend in two and a half, like two and a half years. And, and he came over and we've been, you know, we had a few beers. And I've been throwing up because I had too many beers to drink. And as you know it, then these two guys, them two over there, they came up saying this and that. And I said, you know, yeah, I told him straight out. I go, I've been throwing up right over there. I go, you can ask my brother. You can ask all these. You can ask a lot of people because I've been loud. You know, I've been throwing up in And the next thing you know what, they leave and I came in. And, and then I went back out to finish doing my business. And, uh -huh. and then they came back and, and saying I broke into their cars. I have better things to do than to break into the stuff somebody's car. I gotta be at work in the morning. Yeah. You know okay, what I'm Dad. Okay. Have you ever been arrested before, David? Yes, sir. For what? For, uh, for burglary. For burglary? Yes, sir. When was that? That was a long time. It was like like about a year ago. About a year ago. A year ago? What happened with that case? 
I did community service. I remember doing weekends at the dump. I remember picking, yeah, doing weekends at the dump. Why don't you do me a favor? Sit here. I got another car coming. I'm going to go check out this vehicle. If it doesn't have any damage, yes, sir. you're going to be okay. If it does have some damage, if it does have damage, you can take me in. You can run my okay. prints. And if you think I did it, then, then so be it. You can, I mean, it, okay. it, well, let me go over there and check it out and see what we got. No problem. And I'll see what's happening. You just wait here and I'll be right back to get you, okay? Yes, sir. All right. I mean, I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Did you notice any damage to the vehicle? No, I couldn't tell if it was. I just looked in with the flashlight. Yeah, he's real inebriated. He's just running around uh, being drunk and stupid. But well, we have a lot of stuff going on, but so we don't know who does it. But every lot of one guy here, he's had a few cars flashed. Which vehicle are we talking about? This one right here? Yeah. Do you see any damage here that that isn't normally here? Let's see. Is there any... I won't see it till morning, but I don't. I mean, is anything look different that you can tell? It's all still pretty moist. I don't yeah. see where anybody would have touched it. I can't tell. None of the water's moved or anything like that. If you know what I mean. Yeah. We'll just go talk to him. At this point, I really don't have too much of anything besides him standing over here. Like I said, he's just drunk and running around, so I'll make sure he doesn't come back over here. Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay, man. Uh, basically, all we have is, uh, at, at the most, is a trespassing. I don't see any damage to the vehicle. There's no prying marks or anything like that to indicate he tried to get in the vehicle. There's a bunch of moisture on the vehicle. None of it's been disturbed, so I don't believe that he tried to actually get in the vehicle at this time. Oh, 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 oh. Draw your own conclusions. <laughs> okay. No more running around outside. Nothing wrong with the vehicle, which is good for you. Yes, sir. Okay. Don't run around. If you're gonna get drunk, stay in here. Yes, sir. Don't fight with your brother. Okay, but you know, you start going around like that, people are gonna hurt you, especially when they think you're trying to rip them off or something. I, I, I mean, right now, I've been working at the car wash, you know. I have better things to do than rip somebody off, you know. Okay, bottom line, don't go back over there, don't be running around anymore tonight, okay? Yes, sir. I don't want you outside anymore tonight. I'm sorry, you know what I mean? Okay. I'm sorry, did you even got right. called, you know? All right, just stay inside. Go to sleep. You have to go to work early, huh? All right, Mr. Go yeah, I kind of believe he was sorry for what he did. Uh, then again, the alcohol is all in him, so I think half of that's talking also. I got into law enforcement about seven years ago. Uh, something I've known I was going to do since I was about five years old. I have a brother who's mentally retarded, and I grew up taking care of him and uh, helping him out and ever since then that's something I've always wanted to do is just help other people so it felt like a pretty natural thing to do and that's how I ended up here uh, right now we're en route to a battery between two friends um, negative medical at this time nobody's asking for any kind of medical treatment so we'll see what we have when we get there and uh, Hopefully we can straighten out this mess. What's going on? He tried to molest my daughters. Okay. Why don't you put your cerveza down right there, okay? Put, put your cerveza down right there. Uh, you don't have any weapons on you or anything? No. You stay inside me, huh? Go in there. I'm all over the red team, 32130, level 32130, cross the break, break. I'm going to take a slow. Okay. Look at all this. 96.
Yeah, go ahead and roll uh, no, good no, no, to my location. Sí. Sí, tú eres una... No, no, no. Can't watch time what happened. Just get him off. Go ahead and roll good hue to my location. No weapons, anything on you? I go ahead and inhale your fingers behind you back there, either. Watch my finger. Interlace your fingers for me. Interlace your fingers. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, 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 hey. Yes! Come here. 96, give me a back here. Yo, 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 no. Don't get to my wife. You let it out, Aaron. How would you like if your daughter was going to give me that thing, huh? Okay, I'll give it. Give me your arm. Give me your arm. Wait, wait, my finger. Give me your arm. Okay, I'll give it to you. Don't give me the heart. Don't fight with me. Okay, I don't, don't fight. Don't so hard. You watch my finger. Don't worry about yeah. what I do. Stop hey, it. Hey, just abraza. Stick him in the back of your car. We'll see you right here. We'll see you right here. Okay. Gente se. Oh. You speak a lot of English? Yeah. Yeah? A little, a little bit. A little bit? Yeah, what so happened? Um, my name is Juan. Huh? Juan. Okay, what happened out here tonight? Uh, me drink beer? Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Chibata. Yeah. We got anybody you can, uh, speak Espanol? Okay, this guy's extremely, it's hard to get anything out of him. While I'm talking to him, the wife starts throwing stuff at him, starting to batter him. That's the, the girl in the pink. So then the other guy comes over and hits him while I'm grabbing her and, and pushing her away. So uh, they're saying that he tried to molest their daughter or something. Are they both going? Uh, might end up taking everybody. Is okay, dude? Yeah. Sure? He's got a good gash on his forehead here and on his cheek. I don't know if he got hit with a, with an object or what. Does he live here? No, I don't believe he lives here. I got the husband and wife to live here. So we should try and get a story at least out of them. I started getting a little bit of it before <laughs> everything went kind of haywire. Well, he says he just mind his own business drinking. Next thing he knew, the guys are picking him up. All right. There, you probably never find a true story. No, I'm sure we won't. And right, I'm going to run him real quick, see if he has anything. Uh, if you want to talk to the husband. Oh, you got to let him finish getting the rest of his stuff. Okay, it's done and over with. If he comes, he call us. Then we come out of here, he gets his stuff, and he goes. You're lucky you're not going to jail tonight. Why are you going to go to jail? Because you beat him up. No, this is my house. I do that thing I'm supposed to do. What do you want me to do? No. What do you do if you got some daughters or some niece right I understand here? what you're what saying. Do do? I understand what you're saying, but then? you can't do that. Then? What do you mean not? You can't do that. What do you mean not? I'm telling you, that's what the law is. No. Okay? Hey, I'm explaining it to you. If you got some kids or something like that and some niece, what do you want to do? I'm explaining you it to you the law. You have Okay. Okay. Well, I'll explain it to you. You do what you got to do. All right. Okay? All right. The victim got beat up because he tried to kiss a 13-year-old girl that was living in the house. Right now, the victim doesn't want anything done about it, so can't really arrest the guy. But they're satisfied with him leaving the property. So that's what we did. We accommodated him because we are here to protect and to serve. Okay, we'll still send a code three. 